time for Grand Sumo Highlights. Konnichiwa, and thanks for joining us. It's day 10 of the September tournament. Ozeki Goedo is the sole leader after nine days. He's looking for his second tournament title. Will he go all the way to get the Empress Cup? Here are the current standings after nine days. Goedo on top with eight and one record. Onosho, Chio, Tairyu, Takanoiwa, and Daisho Maru, each with two losses, just one step behind of Goedo. And from another sold out crowd here at the Kokuikan in Tokyo, we bring you day 10. First, it's Tok Shoryu 2 and 7 facing off Endo 5 and 4. These two have faced off six times. Endo has held Tok Shoryu in check. Six wins and zero losses. Here is Endo. 5 and 4. His opponent Tok Shoryu looking for his first ever win over Endo. Will he get it today? Endo seizes his favorite grip and launches. Tokshori tries to counter with a screen again. Build this arm throw, but Endo resists. Tokshori advances. Can Tokshori finish off Endo? No! Endo drops him to the floor. Second straight to Make Koshi losing the record for Tokushori with eight losses now. In the meantime, Endo advances to six wins and four losses. Tok Shoryu gave his best shot against Endo, but he still came up short. That's because he allowed Endo to get that shallow grip right hand inside. That's his go-to weapon. Tok Shoryu tried to counter, but Endo, with the grip, he's able to hold his ground and hits the Wate Dashinage pulling over arm throw. Next is Asano Yama versus Nishikigi. It's a battle of two hard pushers. The Shinyumaku rookie is looking good. Nishikigi is starting to find the rhythm in his pushing attack. The two lock up in Hidari Yotsu, left hand out inside and right hand outside position. Asanoyama takes Nishikigi to the edge and brings him down with a strong overarm throw. Asanoyama wins for the fourth straight day. Nishikigi now four and six. Asanoyama gets a step closer to his Kachikoshi in the top division. Seven wins and three losses now. He needs one more to get his Kachikoshi. Good attack by Asanoyama, setting up for that uh, right hand inside, left hand outside position. This is his favorite position. He swings Nishikigi around and to the edge, and he hits the overarm throw. Job well done. It is Arawashi versus Yutakayama here. Arawashi is six and three, Yutakayama four and five. Arawashi is a thoroughbred. His dad was a star amateur wrestler in Mongolia. Yutakayama's pushing attack is showing a little bit of life in the past few days. A left hand slap by Arawashi attacks Yutakayama. Arawashi gets his favorite shallow grip and he overwhelms Yutakayama. You saw a lot of fighting spirit, quickness, and good footwork on the part of Arawashi in this match. Yutakayama now four and six. Arawashi is seven wins and three losses after 10 days. Arawashi opens up with a left hand slap. It doesn't really bother Yutakayama, but Yutakayama unable to push Arawashi backwards. Arawashi goes deep inside, shallow grip, right hand inside as well, and frontal crush out, Yori Taoshi. Daisho Maru 7 and 2 against Chio Shoma 3 and 6. <laughs> 
Daishomaru is the 2013 amateur Yokozuna. He's competing in his 10th Makunouchi tournament. His opponent, Chiyo Shoma, is competing in his 100th top division match today. Okay. Akachiyage right hand form shiver by Chiyo Shoma. Chiyo Shoma shoves Daishomaru back and out quickly. Chiyo Shoma wins for the first time in three days. He gets his fourth win. Daishomaru, his Kachikoshi, is denied today. Seven and three. Joshoma now four wins and six losses. Watch the Kachiage, the forearm shiver. He doesn't really strike. Daishomaru, but look at the follow through by Joshoma. Takara Fuji against Ishiura. Ishiura has been shooting himself in the foot lately. His initial charge is without any kind of a spark. He's two and seven. Takarafuji seems to be fighting with more composure and power this time. He's six and three. Ishiura hits Takarafuji hard. Takarafuji shows good defense. Ishiura is searching to get an inside position and perhaps a shallow grip. Ishiura now goes right behind Takarafuji and Ishiura is in decent position to finish him off. But Takarafuji not giving up. Takarafuji squares up with Ishiura and he goes forward and he beats Ishiura. What a come from behind victory by Takarafuji. He was in all sorts of danger. But in the end, Takara Fuji takes the match. What a resiliency and never say die attitude by Takara Fuji. Ishiura started out strong, keeping uh, his foe at dead center, trying to get a shallow grip inside. Takara Fuji blocking him. Nice defense shown by Takara Fuji. Now Ishiura uses quickness and uh, gets a little bit of throwing action going and he goes right behind Takara Fuji and he has a golden opportunity to finish Takara Fuji off. Ishiura struggles to beat him. Takara Fuji trying to shake him off, trying to improve his position and eventually Takara Fuji takes the match and it was called Oshidashi but it was corrected to rear push out. It's Takanoiwa 7 and 2 looking for his Kachikoshi today against Ichinojo 5 and 4. Again, Takanoiwa can secure his first Kachikoshi in four tournaments with a win today. Ichinojo is a hard man to figure out. In other words, he lacks consistency. Takanoiwa wants to gain an inside position on big Ichinojo, but he gets swung out by Ichinojo. That's an arm lock throw. Physically superior Ichinojo just outmuscled Takanoiwa in this one. He denies Takanoiwa's Kachikoshi today. And Ichinojo goes to six and four. Ichinojo wanted to get a left hand outside grip right here. He didn't get it, but it didn't matter. So he went for the plan B. That's a Kotenage arm lock throw right there. It is Kagayaki 2 and 7 facing off Shohozan 5 and 4. Kagayaki scored his first win in five days yesterday. Can he keep the positive momentum? Without any question, Shohozan is one of the most intense Rikishi in the top division. Here they go. Shohozan attacks, but he goes down. Kagayaki did not apply any kind of pressure, but rather Shohozan just collapsed on his own. So Kagayaki wins three and seven. Shohozan now five and five. Now the Kimari or the winning technique, 
Well, the result was Tsukihisa knee touchdown by Shohozan. It's one of the five ways you can lose a match because of Shohozan's Tsukihisa. Kagayaki receives a win. Again, it's a neat touchdown by Shohozan. Chiyo Taiyu versus Tochinoshin. Chiyo Taiyu, seven wins and two losses. Looking good. This man is fighting with a lot of juice. Chiyo Taiyu, this basho. One more win will get his Kachikoshi. Tochi Noshin was handed his first Makekoshi losing record in three tourneys yesterday. The two immediately go chest to chest in what appears to be Tochi Noshin's favorite position. Right hand inside and left hand outside. Again, Tochi Noshin loves this position. So it's going to take a lot of work for Chiyo Taiyu to come out on top. Chiyo Taiyu lifts up Tochi Noshin, brings him to the edge, and out goes Tochi Noshin. What a win by Chiyo Taiyu. And he gets his Kachikoshi. More wins than losses secure. You don't see many people lifting up Tochi Noshin and out-muscling the Georgian customer. Chiyo Taiyu. Looking very impressive. Again, locking up in this position usually favors Tochi Noshin. Because Tochi Noshin, this is his go-to position. His favorite left and outside grip. Tochi Noshin is the one who initiates the attack. It is countered by Chiyo Taidu. Chiyo Taidu moves Tochi Noshin back and out. Did you see the lifting up maneuver by Chiyo Taidu? Look at this. He flexes his muscles, lifts up the Georgian, and takes him to the edge and has no trouble finishing him off with a Oshidashi frontal push out. This is the first time in four years for you to make Kachikoshi on day 10. What seems to be the difference? I'm in good shape. I'm also bigger now. I can put pressure on my opponents at the initial charge. For the first time, I'm able to get Kachikoshi at high Maegashira rank. I'll do my best by not getting myself injured. Koto Shogiku versus Onosho here. Koto Shogiku 5 and 4. Onosho 7 and 2. Koto Shogiku scored his 600th top division victory on day 9 yesterday. Onosho lost yesterday, but he is still in contention with just two losses. Two lock up in Hidari Yotsu, left hand inside and right hand outside. The two go after each other. Koto Shogiku marches and thrusts him down. Oh, no, sir, loses on back to back days. He's now seven and three. Koto Shogiku advances to six and four with an impressive. Suba. Here they went, left and inside, right hand out immediately. That's what Onosho wanted today. I don't know if that game plan was smart on the Onosho's part. He played right into Koto Shogiku's go to style. Koto Shogiku took him to the edge with that hip pumping attack, the Gaburi Yori, and then finishes him off with a Right hand, thrust down. Again, Onosho is a pusher thruster, but he wanted to get that left hand in, right hand out immediately, and that's what he wanted, and he got it. But Koto Shogiku countered with his own offensive attack. Koto Shogiku says, I'm a better Rikishi in this style. It's Hokuto Fuji, four and five, against Tamawashi, the Komusubi, three and six. Hokuto Fuji's offense is sputtering lately. Let's see if he can make it work today. Nobody does it better than Tamawashi if you're talking about applying a strong Nodowa stiff arm on your opponent. Tamawashi absorbs Hokuto Fuji's charge. 
The Mongolian pushes him back and keeps Hokuto Fuji on his heels. Tamawashi never stops the charge and takes care of Hokuto Fuji in an emphatic style. So Hokuto Fuji now 4 and 6. Tamawashi also goes to 4 wins and 6 losses. Hokuto Fuji got off to a fast start, but Tamawashi just punished him from right here. Just kept chugging ahead, and Hokuto Fuji just unable to reply at all. Frontal push out. Next up, it is the Bulgarian Aoyama still seeking for his first victory in this Akibasho, the autumn tourney against Mitakeumi 5 and 4. Aoyama decided to compete after sitting out the first seven days, but clearly his left knee is incapacitating his normal moves. Mitakeumi says his goal this time is to win in double digits. He needs five more wins to get it. Mitakemi advances, but Aoyama wisely slips to his right and sends the youngster to the dirt. Aoyama wins for the first time. Mitakemi now even after 10 days, five wins and five losses. Aoyama, one win, two losses, and seven absences. With a little bit of sigh of relief on Aoyama's part. Hataki Komi snap down. Yoshikaze 5 and 4 facing off Shodai 4 and 5. Yoshikaze, the Mr. Feisty, is on a roll. He's now won five consecutive matches. Shodai is hoping to snap his three match losing streak. Shodai wants to blast Yoshikaze back, but Yoshikaze holds his ground. Yoshikaze gets an upper body grip and goes, and he cannot be denied. Yoshikaze wins for the sixth straight day. On the other side, Shodai loses for the fourth consecutive day. Shodai four and six. So Yoshikaze, after losing his first four matches, he's coming back strong with six straight wins. Six and four. Bang. Shodai hits Yoshikaze hard, but Yoshikaze first gets his left and inside position on Shodai. He buries his forehead to Shodai's chest. Now he has the Otsuke with his right hand. Look at the technique combination on Yoshikaze. It's Goedo, the tournament leader from the west side. He is 8-1, and one, facing off Tochi Ozan. Struggling a bit, 3-6. and six. This is a Dokusei Taiketsu, or a battle between long-time rivals, as the two made their professional debut exactly at the same time in January of 2005. It's pride versus pride here. He keeps up the charge, and he finishes off Tochi Ozan without any trouble. So, Goedo advances to another victory. He wins for the ninth straight day. Tochi Ozan 3 and 7, Goedo 9 wins and 1 loss. Is the Empress Cup starting to sail into his View. I don't think that's the case yet, but Goedo getting closer and closer to his second championship. If he can keep up this kind of sumo, Goedo will get that Empress Cup on the final day this coming Sunday. But Goedo still has a lot of work to do, but if he can keep up this kind of pushing attack, good aggressive charge, he should be well on his way to his second championship. Again, Goedo attacks with a nice Otsuke pushing attack. Tochozan tries to uh, recover, but Goedo, the nice, uh, didn't follow through. He almost uh, uh, 
tries an attempt to pull him down, but he regains his position. It is the final match of the day. Haruma Fuji 6 and 3, taking on Taka Keisho 5 and 4. Haruma Fuji checks in with four straight wins. He now seems totally focused in regroup. Taka Keisho knows he has to empty the draw to pull off a huge upset today. <laughs> Haruma Fuji with a quick attack. Now Yokozuna wants to establish an inside grip on the young customer, but Taka Keisho is doing a nice job blocking him. Taka Keisho slaps him down. He takes the match. Taka Keisho scores his first Kimboshi, the Gold Star win. Haruma Fuji hands out another Kimboshi, his fourth of this basho. The Zabuton cushions are flying all over the Kokugikan. A huge upset on day 10. Haruma Fuji comes in low and fast. But one thing Haruma Fuji wasn't able to do was to catch Takakesho with a grip. Takakesho keeps the separation, keeping the Yokozuna away, and he hits the slap down with a beautiful timing. Here they go again. Yokozuna slapping Takakesho's face area, but Takakesho is unfazed. Takakesho is fearless. Taka Keisho is looking at the Yokozuna very well. When the Yokozuna comes forward, he slips to the side a little bit and hits the slap down. Wow. I can't recall what really happened out there, but I'm happy. Yokozuna is stronger than me, so I had to be mentally strong against him today. It was good that I uh, entered this match, thinking myself as a true challenger. And that'll do it for day 10 of the September tournament. To look at the tournament standings, Goedo on top, Chiyotai in second place. Onosho, Takara, Fuji, Taka, Noiwa, Arawashi, Daisho Maru, and Asa Noyama Troero with three losses each. Anything could happen in the remaining five days in the race to get the Empress Cup. So join us tomorrow again on day 11. Arigato and sayonara.